Yo, what's going on, dudes? Ow, I just hit my tit. No, I just hit my balls, bro. Sorry for the bad camera quality again. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. So, we're gonna be reacting to some Bored Panda. It's this website that I found, that I recently found. It's kind of like Reddit. It's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, maybe you guys will too. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be reacting to supermarket workers reveal 53 things they absolutely hate that customers do. Me being in retail, I'm not in, I'm not in the grocery store market, but it's kind of the same thing, because, you know, a supermarket doesn't just sell food. They sell bedding, they sell all kinds of shit, right? You know how you enter the store to get some milk, only to see the shelf full of pinto, pit, whatever, right in the way? Staring at you with no place to hide. The moment of pure impromptu is basically the essence of the decisions were made here. Meaning that shows a lonely product one intended to buy, standing in the midst of the indulgence section, whether it's beer or ice cream, right? Yes, sir. So, but no matter how funny it may be in the joke format, the reality is a tiny bit different. It turns out it's one of the most annoying things customers do while shopping. According to Zoomark boys, not even mentioning taking a thing out of its package and leaving it lot. Yes! People, I swear to God, they take cups out just of like you know we sell wine glasses and like contain in like uh, bulk. I swear to you, people will take them out and just fuck freaking lay anywhere. Sorry if I curse during this. You know, it's just it's gonna happen. I'm gonna curse. Okay. So I connected my my you know computer to my TV, you know, an HDMI cord. So I see myself there and on my TV. It's great. So. Well, I was a list of, yeah, you know the drill. Alright, here we go. Here's a picture of a person at a grocery store. Where are your dog toys? The employee says, yes ma'am, they're right there. The customer gets mad and says, those are leashes. Then the customer, or the employee is like, if I could direct your attention, three inches to the right, then the customer is like, I want that! A little hot dog on top. I see, I see we have one just like it right here. That isn't what I asked for. This is this is mustard on it. Piggy Boo doesn't eat mustard. Well, I can see the one up there has mustard on it too. Since it's not even real mustard, are you gonna give me what I asked for? Certainly. Picks it up. There you go. It says mustard on it. That's true, man. That's true. Customers take the whole idea that customers always right. How many was it? Seven twenty-six. Customers take the whole idea that customers always right to the next thing level, right? Customers not always right, and they're not always wrong either. But they're not always right. Here we got them too. When people stop in the middle of an aisle and act like they're the only ones in the store. Oh my God! I haven't seen you in forever. Let's stand in everyone's effing way and talk about our annoying kids. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I see. Ah, shit. Hit my foot. Sorry. That is so true. So true. It's a stock image. Comment on top. I hate when this happens in Sidewalks too. And in school. I swear to God, people think they're doing goddamn people in school. I can't freaking move. Alright. Number three, if you let your kids do this, screw you. It's a picture of the uh, toy aisle of toys all over the floor. You see, we don't have that much of a toy section, but I can relate. I can relate. If you really love your heroes, consider this. Posted by at Tommy on the left, uh, Twitter. I don't want to be told I'm a hero for being a cashier. That's kind of ridiculous. I just want $20 an hour. Please stop calling me a hero. A hero and instead call your representatives and tell them we need $20 an hour. You don't need in $20 an hour. What the f Okay, what do you want? $15 an hour or $20 an hour? You don't need $20 an hour. Do you know how much money you would make if you work an eight hour shift and make $20? You know, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> this, is, this was posted in 2020, in April, where the whole damn month was 420. I love it. 
I mean, it was posted on April 4th, right? All right, retail workers know what I mean. What the back looks like. Ain't no shit in there. What the customer... <laughs> what the customer thinks the back looks like. That That's like Walmart on crack. This is... This is so true. Sooner or later, I'll be able to show you guys what they look like by doing screen cab, but you know, I'm not a fucking YouTuber like that. This is so damn true. On the left, there's a picture of it, just like a supply closet. On the back, there's freaking stuff everywhere. I swear to you, teacher. They're like, can you look in the back? And I'm like, no, I can't, because we're the kind of store that we order, we don't order shit. Crap. We get what we get, we don't get upset. I don't say that, I lose my job. Alright, number six. Getting told the same joke. Cashier goes to scan the item and doesn't scan through. Customer, oh, it must be free then. Me. <laughs> Dude, that is disgusting. Oh, God. Her mouth is like... <clears throat> yeah, they always say that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Working in retail is a special type of hell. This was posted by someone named Lesbian Shepherd on... I guess Instagram, I don't know. Just heard a customer two aisles over go, Hey, I think this is that... I think this... I think this is that special glass that doesn't shatter when you drop it, followed by the sound of shattering glass. I've seen that one before. I hate retail. I don't. I like it. Certainly better than food service. Alright, number eight. This is accurate. Are you open? Read the sign. I have a crap. I have a crappy patty deluxe. <laughs> Ew, that sounds gross. The sign says closed. This is SpongeBob, of course. And, uh, don't you love that? Like, customers. I clearly see nobody's in the damn parking lot, and it's like closing time, and they walk out of the door and go... <laughs> it's like one of my classes, right? I've been to school for nine months now. Years of us over. We got a month exactly. One month from today. May 10th. And people still, who are late to my social studies class, comes up to the door knowing that it's locked and still tries to open it. Yeah, you would think they would just stop being late, right? And number nine, customers who don't say hi. Me forced to say hi to every customer. Literally every customer. Management. That's so damn true. <laughs> customers see that I'm a child and I'm here. Number 10. When they act like masks don't apply to them. The, I ain't wearing no mask in your business. <laughs> what? This is so damn stereotypical. They got white shoes. It's a white man. When was this posted? I don't even know, but dude, you don't. Oh my God, I hate that post. Number eleven sounds about right. Visit the grocery store every day of the week for essentials. Brings family along to get out of the house. Complains about the number of people the store tells others to stay home. Yep, that sounds about right. Number twelve. All the employees have to do have to do is put stuff away, right? At a shoe store where the shoes are all over the damn place. See, my store is easy enough. Easy. We sell women's shoes, and that is it. And all we have to do is put them where they went. Where they go. We just match them. Can't be hard, right? 13. When customers leave stuff from other aisles in places that they should be. It's a fucking... Sorry. It's a freaking onion in the movie section at a Walmart. <laughs> What gets what gets me is when they put it in an aisle next to the aisle that it goes in. That's what really gets me. I think we can all relate. Am I right? Maybe I'll help who's next. I can help the next person in line. Inhales. I can help whoever's next. That is so true. That is so true. We have numbers and buttons that we press to call our customers up. Cashier number seven, please. Person in line. Cashier number seven, please. I call him up. This is the slowest damn place on earth. <laughs> this is what I said on my last day. My last day there. I'm like, bitch, I called you twice. <laughs> yep. Fifteen. When they tell employees their whole life story. Customers tell me their whole life story in detail. 
Hey, damn, that's crazy. Your total is... <laughs> yeah, you're like, damn, that's crazy. I don't give a shit. Your total is 1330. <laughs> yep. Any season. Oh my god, there's a... There's a bag... There's a box of Applebee's chicken in a candy box from... <laughs> oh my god. When guests forget the entire reason employees are in the store. I hate cus I hate when customers say, why do they have you working on holidays? Because you're in here! Right. <laughs> yep, mm hmm Yeah, this guy this guy's pretty this guy's right. It says, but he's just named S. But the customer only there because the store is open. Then it isn't the fault of the management. Isn't it the fault of the management? Yeah, that may, yeah, that's a good point. When they walk in just before closing, customer walks in one minute before closing. Customer, wow, perfect timing. Employees are like, <laughs> and we can't kick them out. We can't, we close at nine thirty. If someone comes in at nine twenty nine, we're fucked. <laughs> Nineteen. When customers forget how a store works, guest, you had wiped. You had wiped yesterday, and now you're out. Me, yes, sorry, they're very popular right now. Guess. Well, you should order more. Me. My goodness, what an idea. Why didn't I think of that? You know, <laughs> it's not like management's in the back ordering wipes are right now. <laughs> 20. When they come in, 0.5 seconds before closing time. This customer walked in 10 seconds before we closed, and she had the audacity to yell, Hey, I made it, bitch! Wait a minute. Yeah, yay, yeah, I made it. Bitch, you made what? Made me mad? <laughs> yep. Black Friday as a Walmart employee. Holy sh... Oh my god. <laughs> that is... Oh, shit. Ew. Yep, that's why I would not be a cashier at Walmart. I'd be a backroom employee. Not a freaking cashier. Nope. I'm good. When customers leave their dirty trash in the carts. Oh my god, this person left a... Some Pringles in the tar- is this Target? Looks like Target. There's some Pringles in the Target cart. <laughs> I'd kick you out of my damn store. I'm like, really? Customers are relentless. Me, hey, I don't think any customers will come in this weather. The customer? Yep. Well, actually, it was a, it was snowing, right? It was a very bad snowstorm, and nobody was in the store. Loved it, Ralph. I didn't get to go home unfor early, unfortunately. <laughs> Me, that'd be 15 pounds, please. Then please, customer, I only have 12.50. Is that all right? Me. <laughs> it's a picture of Adele. I think. Oh, bitch! I said 15 pounds. You gotta take some stuff off. 25. Even though zebras say says one, but not bind in anywhere. Me, I'm positive. It's out of stock. That will get you checking the back. Me after checking in the back. Guess what, motherfucker? It's a picture of Tiger King. I told you we're out. Uh, 26. Things supermarket employees hate. I better not get charged twice. The point of me asking you to slide your card again is because it didn't work the first time you... No one ever does that. I don't know why I just rubbed my nipples, it was weird. This is why I hate retail. People are so damn lazy, I'd hate to see what your house looks like if you do this. Is a picture of them putting a bunch of damn clothes. It's gotta be an infinity room on a cart. Speaking of which, oh my god, this was the funniest thing ever. The reason why I'm not telling you where I work, you guys already know where I work, but I don't want them to assume I'm talking bad about said store. I'm not. Uh, just saying I'm not talking on behalf of my store either. Um, this woman comes into the fitting room, right? My co-worker's like, sorry, I gotta leave your card outside. This is the worst Karen ever. She's like, why do I gotta leave my card outside? There's a cart right there, there's a cart right there, there's some carts in there, carts in there, blah, blah, blah. It's a fire hazard, by the way. So this, my girl, my girl, my co-worker's going on break, right? I, so I cover, I'm like, on the radio, I'm like, I'm covering Miss Kay's break. Yeah, that was her name. Sorry, I just said her name. <laughs> She's like, the customer, customer's like, why are you radioing? Maybe you should radio the manager so I can have a talk with her. I'm like, what the f- I wanted to say, bitch. 
This ain't a cart. This is a fucking shopping cart. I mean, a uh, laundry basket on wheels. It ain't in the f way. Nobody uses the damn men's. When you have two men's uh, fitting rooms and like seven women's, we're sexist. I know. I'm like, dude. Women, some people, not women. I didn't mean to say that. Why I hate working in retail in the fitting room, bunch of clothes. When customers disappear after employees go into the back to get something for them. When I retrieve an item from the back for a guest, but they're gone. With a picture of John Travolta, probably in a Coles or Target, very confused. Holding a cigarette. <laughs> or is that his finger? I don't even know. <laughs> cough, cough. CDC, stay at least six feet away from people. Old people with retail workers. It's a picture of SpongeBob blowing air or water on Squidward. <laughs> That's so f***ing true, man. People get my nerves. I love working with people. I love it. Hate them sometimes. Those coupons, though. Old people with cashier expired coupons. I'm sorry, old people with expired coupons. They're all f***ing pissed. Cashier. It's a picture of a cat at the diner just going like... Oh, bitch, I don't give a crap. It's expired. There's nothing I can do about it. 32. Customer, hey, do you work here? Me, no, I just come in here to fold clothes because it's good for my health. I swear to God, people come up to me and I'm wearing my name tag, right? And they're like, do you work here? I'm gonna say no, I just stole the name tag. Yes, I work here. But I'd be the one getting written up. They're like, yeah, they asked me in front of me with noticing, seeing my name tag. They asked me, do I work here? Uh, when people leave food in a cart, yeah. Ew. Oh, is that rotten food? Oh my god, it's thawed out meat. Yeah, that's gross. When people take something out of its package, they just leave it there. Yep, I see that a lot in my store. When they're beckoning an employee over like they're a trained animal, no one. Boomers to retail workers. <laughs> Come here, kiddo! Okay, that was weird. 36. Things supermarket employees hate. Are you paying with a debit or credit? I'm paying with a card. What kind of card? Gift card? Debit card? Credit card? EBT card? Snap card? What card? That's a- No! Th this- this customer's like- this, uh, this guy's name like Gas. It says customers hate being asses too. Why? Does it matter? Is there a price differential? No, there's not a price differential. There's 50 different buttons on a register and if you press credit or debit and not paying with a credit card, you gotta go- you gotta go over them, ex exit, do another thing over again. It's just easier. You pay with because there's different options, bro. Is that an Xbox? Is that a printer? Is that a Staples? I think it's a Staples. Uh, who just decided no on the TV? And put it in the frickin' home department. Uh, I mean, uh, the curtain department. TVs are considered home. From or electronics. When they don't recognize the difference between in-store and online guests, but online it said he has some in stock. Me. Reality is often disappointing. Uh, we don't constantly update our, our systems, idiot. 39. 98% of customers are illiterate customers. Excuse me, is this 60% off? Uh, me. There's 60% off everywhere, man. This is what I love. This, <laughs> this is what I love. People see the in price tag on the freaking item and they're like, can you tell me the price of this? You know me inside, I'm like, ma'am, it's on the f***ing tag. 40. People who shop at the absolute last minute. Cashiers with their 8 hour shift ends in 10 minutes and they see 5 white moms line up with their shopping cart full of dozen and dozen of coupons in their Yes! Yes! Yeah! Uh, Christmas time we close at 11, right? Around that time. December. Whole month of December we close at 11. Until the Sunday after Christmas. Or the day after Christmas, whatever that may be, right? I swear to fucking God, this woman comes up in line at 11 o'clock with a in cart 10 feet, 10 stories high, I swear to God. She comes up in line. We make an 11.05 closing announcement. Another one, a warning, saying get the out of her store, right? She has the audacity to ask us, am I holding you guys up? I turned around, I said, walking by, walking past her. Yes. I'm 
like, you gotta be sh me. Put on being understaffed. When you're understaffed and customers keep coming at you like, yep, they're on a bunch of million, they're on a billion tennis balls. When customers mess up the displays. My face when I fix the display and I watch the customers. Yep. It's a fat dude sweating. <laughs> 43. A customer just came in here coughing up a storm and didn't cover his mouth once. I hate it here. Me, your total is 530. Customer, here's a $6 bill. Me, I think that's a smiley face customer. Oh, wait, here's 70 cents too. Yeah. What that means. That means you're gonna get two dollars back, you dumbass. I think. Five thirty minus six dollars and seventy cents. Zero thirteen minus seven is six. And then five four minus two is two. What the fuck you want two sixty back? I don't know if I did that right. Whatever. 45 customers are chasing you. What? When a customer is chasing you as you're about to go on your break. Yep. Mm, yes, sir. New infant salad. Oh, Jesus, God. It's a salad in the infant in the pediatric section. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to thank this fellow customer for this nice display. <laughs> Jesus, they put a they put a shirt in the like tool section. Is that a Lowe's or a Home Depot? It's not a Home Depot, because I, I know their price tags. 48. This happens way too often in electronics. Customers looking for batteries. Customer finding a busy employee. Yep. They're blind finding the finding the batteries, but they have eyes like a fucking hawk. They're looking for an employee. Uh, me, when the customer puts their money on the, cash, on the counter instead of my outstretched hand. Yes, sir. 50, when customers demand to be let in before opening, boomers be like, it's 6.59, day, day open yet? Yep. We, uh, were open, right? I was, I was open to the store, not me, but I was there. Oh, I was there, you know, when they opened, right? We haven't even turned on the automatic door thing yet, but we haven't unlocked it. I swear to God, as soon as we unlocked it, the door, the freaking woman was like, was just like, pushed her way through. I'm like, what in this store would you need that you need to push your damn way through? 51. When customers still act uncertain if employees work there, even though they might as well have a target pointing, target painted on their face. Me, when a guest sees me wearing red, using a ze zebra in opening boxes, and still has the nerve to ask, do you work here? Other than an animal, what the hell is a zebra? Using a zebra. Am I missing something? No, oh, whatever. It's called etiquette. Me showing a customer how to place money in my hand instead of tossing it on the encounter like a barbarian. Yeah, we just saw that. And 53. Me opens door customers. Oh, wait, I have a penny. First of all, I don't know how to count. I got this song stuck on my head. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, make sure you check out this website. It's called boardpanda.com www.boardpanda.com It's funny, it's awesome, there's so many good things There's music, there's police Art of, uh, memes There's retail memes, there's school memes There's there's gay memes I don't know why I pointed at myself when I said that There's American memes There's video game memes, there's all kinds of memes On here, so again, check it out And I will see you all In the next video, bye